My name's Katie Evans and I am the Chief Business Development Officer at Swarm. Swarm is very plainly an end-to-end -end protocol that brings traditional assets, financial assets like stocks, uh, fixed income products, commodities, onto blockchain. I think from an early stage, we were able to separate the crypto asset from the underlying technology and found that if you use this technology in a very interesting way, you could actually build and program financial, traditional financial markets in a new way that allows you to not only do things more efficiently, but enables you to do new things as well with those assets. We announced with Hedera a couple months now ago that we were going to be deploying our assets onto the Hedera network. So what that means is we are enabling publicly listed stocks. Think of your Apples, Teslas, NVIDIAs, MicroStrategies of the world. Those will be available as collateral on the Hedera network. And the reason that that's important is because you'll be able to do things with those tokens um, like you would with any uh, crypto asset available on the Hedera network. But crucially, these assets are completely uncorrelated to the current crypto assets that are available today. As we all know, when Bitcoin sneezes, all the other altcoins catch a cold. So it's really important that we have a diversity of um, assets available to people so that they can come up with interesting hedging strategies, portfolio construction um, and lending capabilities as well. So the reason Swarm chose to work with Hedera is twofold. Firstly, Hedera has stood the test of time when it comes to crypto markets. We've all seen pro crypto projects come and go, particularly with high highs and then the low lows of the market downturn. And it really is interesting to see who is left behind or is still able to continue and have that longevity. So for us, that was a major trust component to us wanting to choose to work with the Hedera Foundation and deploy onto the Hedera network. Secondly, and probably most crucially, Hedera has a very institutional focused and compliance first attitude in mind and that exactly aligns with what we have at Swarm. All of our infrastructure is built with regulation in mind, with trust, with investor protection. Even in the absence of regulation, we've still built our infrastructure so that uh, individual and institutional investors are protected. And I think the Hedera network certainly um, caters to, to those tenets as well. Very broadly, Swarm is looking at applying blockchain technology to, to traditional financial assets for a few reasons. Not only to rebuild financial markets that are more lean, more efficient, disintermediated, but it also not only enables access for more people around the world to get involved in these new market types, but it enables you to do things that you couldn't previously do before. Hedera is a crucial part of that puzzle because we believe that the, the community that they have built, the people that are using that chain, are absolutely perfect for this use case. The next one to three years, what does that look like for Hedera and Swarm? Honestly, I don't know if our brains can get there yet because there is so much upside potential with this partnership. We're starting off with enabling a certain amount of publicly listed stocks on the Hedera network. And in fact, we've worked with the foundation to actually add new assets to our EU prospectus. An EU prospectus, without getting too into the weeds of the legal and regulatory speak, puts us in quite a unique position because it means we can offer these assets to both retail investors and institutional investors, whereas mostly today with our WA providers, they can only serve on that institutional side, not on the retail side. So we've added new assets, which means people are going to be able to trade more assets specifically on the Hedera network. I'm really interested to see what people build on top of those assets as a result, because once you have issuance solved, which is what we're working on today, we'll then solve for trading and then we'll then solve for lending through a series of partnerships. And I think when you start to see people lending against their tokenized Starbucks stock to then go and buy a cup of coffee, that's going to just like blow people's minds. And I think that's the um, that's where this partnership could take us, but it could also go in myriad other ways as well.
Obviously, I'm a little bit biased because I'm in the RWA space and I do honestly believe it is blockchain's killer app right now. We've seen with stable coins to begin with how this stuff can move on chain and work in a very effective cross-border way. And now we're adding the RWA sector to stable coins. And when you start to look at, you know, settling a fixed income product against a Turkish Lira stable coin or a Euro denominated stable coin, you can start to see some really interesting financial products coming to market that just have not been really available in today's current infrastructure.